The former number one overall pick Markel Fultz expected to miss three to six weeks as he undergoes physical therapy on that shoulder. Uh, sources telling our Adrian Wojnarowski, who you just heard from. Stephen A., how does the process look now? Awful. Um, and I don't say awful in terms of Joel Embiid and, and uh, Ben Simmons, because obviously it looks very, very legitimate in that regard. Um, it's awful, but... Uh, let's be very, very clear. Sam, you know, uh, Sam Hinkey, uh, the former general manager for the Philadelphia 76ers, uh, who was dismissed from that role and replaced by Brian Colangelo, looks good here because it's not his fault that it's this bad right now. I think a legitimate argument could be made that in all likelihood he would not have drafted Markel Fultz, uh, that he's somebody that would have grabbed a Jason Tatum or De'Aaron Fox or, 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 or Martin, probably not a Markinen or a Dennis Smith or a Donovan Mitchell because they came a little bit later on in the draft. But those are just the players that in the same draft class as Markel Fultz who went after him, including Lonzo Ball and Right now, it appears to be the biggest bust in NBA history. I don't recall, even with Kwame Brown, Michael Olawa Candy, and others, I don't recall a number one overall pick in the NBA draft being this bad. I think the only thing this glaring, this conspicuous, Max, might have been Sam Bowie being taken. I got one for Jordan you. You're forgetting in one. 19, in 19. Yeah, Anthony I probably Bennett. am forgetting one, but Anthony I will say Bennett. this. Anthony, yeah, 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 yeah. But even Anthony Bennett, well, we just discovered that, that that he couldn't play, but at least he had a season or two to prove that he couldn't play. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this guy, Markel Fultz, has been very, very bad. Now, uh, watching Kevin McHale and Isaiah Thomas yesterday, and I'd advise everybody, I, I mean, I don't get to watch uh, it much, but any chance you get to watch Isaiah Thomas and Kevin McHale, two Hall of Famers on NBA TV, I would suggest people strongly do it because they're absolutely sensational together. And and Kevin McHale came up with the line of the night when he was talking about, you know, playing bad basketball syndrome or something along, like, along that line that, that, you know, he's paraphrasing. But I would tell you that, you know, none of us are in a position to speak uh, intuitively or, or intimately about what's messing with Markel Fultz psychologically, but I can assure you this is not just about his shoulders. Uh, and, and, and Raymond Brothers, a, a fabulous agent with a great reputation, uh, you know, he, he speaks and, and he's supporting his client and he's getting them away from the Philadelphia 76ers, but it was, it, it was obviously in the Philadelphia 76ers' greatest interest to do everything that they could to get Markel Fultz healthy. This is, I'm not saying that he doesn't have a shoulder injury. Please don't get me wrong. I am telling you it is not just about that. This man has some personal demons uh, that are none of our business, uh, that most of us don't know about intimately and probably never will, nor should we. But I will tell you it is not just about his shoulder. This young brother's got some issues. He's got some problems. And I sincerely hope and pray that he will overcome it because it is not just his shoulder. He forgot how to play basketball for crying out loud. He just forget just forget his shot. He's forgot how to play basketball in a lot of people's eyes. It is simply that bad to distract, too many distractions or what have you, Max. And it goes far, far deeper than just a messed up shoulder. Okay, everybody. Gather around, young children. Uncle Max has a, has a science lesson for you. You remember me talking several okay. weeks ago about when this, even last year, when this topic first came up about the difference between potential energy and kinetic energy. Maybe you remember from science class. The process was going along just fine. It wasn't perfect, but sometimes the perfect is the enemy of the good. But it was going along, and they were gathering talent, and the whole point of Sam Hinkie's process was that if you tank, not for a year and try to grab a player, but for like five years, the chances are you're going to come along and grab one or two generational kind of talents, and you will be able to build a sustainable perhaps dynastic, but certainly powerhouse team going forward. Now, for those mm -hmm. who would say, fine, Hinky, so, so this is potential energy. You roll a boulder up a hill. See, I, I even made a little diagram. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little stick figure, and there's the boulder going up the hill. Once you get it to the top of the hill, that's potential energy you've put in the work. Even if you don't believe that Sam Hinky was the guy to then, wait, which way am I going? It's backwards for me. To again, push, the, push it down and let it roll all the way down to realize the potential energy. That's called kinetic energy. Even if you don't believe he was the guy to do it, he wouldn't know when to pull the trigger, what deals to make, fine. Then you replace him with someone who would. What did I say when they hired Brian Colangelo? Eh, mistake, not good, not smart enough, not good enough, period. And what happened? 
All that potential energy that Sam Hinkie built up was ruined by a bad GM. That is what happened to the process. The process itself, the concept of it was fine. Stink for half a decade to be great for a decade. The problem is the execution was bad because they put the wrong guy in charge and he passed up on Tatum. Added a pick, a first round can... pick, in order to not take Tatum and take mm -hmm. Fultz. Stephen A, anything else that's going on Molly. with Fultz? They should have guys, done their due diligence. I keep diligence. hearing rap Molly. in my ear. Are you guys hearing that Molly, too? I, Molly, Mo Molly, Molly yeah. I can pick apart that argument, but Max Kellerman was very slick in this debate, and I think uh -huh. America needs to know it. The producer has been in our ear for the last minute and a half telling us to rap. Well, we've been talking so we for a minute and three quarters. What are you what talking just about? Said. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got away with it. You, we, you, you brought up something right, you know I don't get on you about. I spoke for about a minute and a half. a legit contender, and they added Jimmy Butler.